What does wellness mean to you? The folks at the Virginia Garcia Memorial Health Center want to know. Thanks for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Ivy Wagner joins us. She's the wellness director at the center. Thanks for being here. Thank you. You know, wellness is such a, a, a broad term. It means something different to whomever you ask. How do you design programs for the entire population of a community? That is a challenge that we face at Virginia Garcia. I was brought in in October to uh, a teaching kitchen and community gardens and exercise space and tons of partners waiting and holding that tension of how do we create something. And I think it's really about being present with people and listening to their story of where have they come from, what do they want for their health and healing, and then matching up partners and programming and sometimes just silence is what we also need in a world that's so stimulating and stressful. You know, the easy way out, I guess, is to offer a Zumba class, mm. a yin yoga class, and, and these don't fit everyone, do they? No, they don't. And so I, I think that's one of the beauties of Virginia Garcia, that we have a history of asking what is culturally relevant and how do we meet people where they are. And, and we may find that we create beautiful programming and then nobody can get there because public transportation doesn't come by their house or they don't have gas for their vehicle or they have a lot of kids and uh, child care isn't provided. And so the last nine months have been a lot of being with these and saying, how do we have wellness in a community that is diverse? I think this is a good time to find out what exactly Virginia Garcia Memorial Health Center is, mm -hmm. because for those who have never been there, is it a hospital, is it a spa, a wellness center, what is it? Yeah, so uh, Virginia Garcia was founded in 1975 after a young girl who was part of a migrant farm working family died from a cut in her foot. And a three car garage was, was our first site. And uh, within two weeks of her death, it had started. And it's growing now uh, to what we now have today, a wellness center, as well as sites in three other locations with dental and eye services, medical care. Serving, what, 35,000? 35, 35,000 patients. We also have some school-based health centers, and we have outreach to migrant farm working families who are in camps and planned nurseries. And so we're a federally qualified health center, so we receive federal money to make sure that some of the people in our community who don't have insurance or have barriers to having health care and wellness um, are welcomed in. You know, I noticed uh, in the notes you, you got a $4 million grant from the government to maybe develop new ways to train physicians. Mm. And, uh, and so it gives you the opportunity to, to work outside parameters that are pretty strict. It's true. And we, are, we have just launched in the recent few months an alternative payment methodology, which also opens up even greater opportunity that we're now paid per member per month for people who are on Oregon Health Plan. So you're not paid per visit, we're you're not, paid a, yep, a monthly sum. A mo and so as, so as long as we're uh, interacting with them and supporting their health care and the needs that they have, we have a monthly payment. And so it opens up so many opportunities for preventative care and wellness activities and being able to not just have to fit into a diagnosis or a code for insurance. All right, well, virginiagarcia.org is a place to find out more information in Yamhill and Washington counties you serve. Ivy, thank you very much for thank joining you. us. And we want to thank you for being here as well from the Hillsborough Stadium. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day, everyone.